Nightly News. I'm David Knight, and it's Thursday, September 26, 2013. Here are our top stories. Tonight, the FBI denies that Aaron Alexis was a victim of ELF technology. Then, how secret 3G Intel chips give a back door to your PC. And the NSA claims it trolls your phone to keep you safe. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. It knows all your medical conditions, your history, where you eat, what size and color underwear your wife wears, what type of sex you're into. Well, the inscription on Aaron Alexis's gun, My ELF Weapon, has caused quite a stir about research that's been out in the open for decades, but has largely gone unnoticed by the public. So the FBI decided that they needed to push back. In this article, the FBI gave a statement saying that there was an electronic document from Alexis that said, ultra low frequency attack is what I've been subject to for the last three months. And to be perfectly honest, that's what's driven me to this. They just dismissed that by saying he was delusional. But as we pointed out, Satanist and high-ranking NSA official Michael Aquino pointed out 33 years ago in his document, Mind War, that ELF was very useful for harassing and controlling people, as well as making a connection to the Navy Yard, where the ELF program is also used for submarines. And what was also different about this and indicating that it wasn't just simple schizophrenia or natural uh, schizophrenia was that it was a sudden onset late in life. He was hearing voices of people that he thought were harassing him, not the voice of God or Satan, and especially sleep deprivation. Take a look at this clip from a new film by Take Back Your Power. They show people that are exposed to smart meters, and these are pictures before. After they're exposed to just two minutes of standing close by a smart meter, you see abnormal cell conditions in the first two subjects. The third subject was a female who could only stay there for 45 seconds. It still caused clotting, gave her headaches, and those are the symptoms that we see people complaining about frequently with smart meters. So you can see a dramatic difference in the effect on blood cells with just two minutes of exposure, and in the one case, only 45 seconds of exposure. Now you can see more about that documentary at InfoWarsStore.com. We sell the DVD, Take Back Your Power, a very powerful film that will educate you about the very real effects on your health and your family's health with smart meters. Now what we didn't show, but what happens right after they show the effect on blood cells of the smart meters, there's an Apple, former Apple executive, who talks about how they use the term smart meters as simply a marketing ploy. He says it's very clever to do that because if you criticize a smart meter, you're obviously dumb. He says he calls them dangerous meters. It's a very good documentary. Check it out at InfoWarsStore.com. So we know that there are real physiological effects of microwave radiation on people. We've had research that has talked about how companies and how various military organizations have research projecting communications into people's heads. The Army calls it their voice to skull program, or DARPA calls it a sonic projector. The Marines, of course, have their directed energy beam weapons, the Medusa project. And there's a lot of weapons of mass control, as I like to call them, as they talk about them being non-lethal weapons, but they're weapons that they know have very severe physiological effects on people. Now, Aaron Alexis was a technician who worked in this area. He worked with defense contractors. He had been in the military, and he may have known, may have been warned about the physiological effects of exposure to this, but he certainly knew that he was being harassed, and he knew the source of this harassment. For the FBI to just dismiss this as delusional is not credible. We know that there are real physiolo physiological effects. We saw that with the smart meters. We know that they've been researching these programs for decades. The only question is, are they morally capable of doing it? Well, of course they are. They think they're on a noble mission. Look at what the NSA surveillance boss just said about this. He said that the NSA has defined U.S. surveillance programs as part of a noble mission to protect the nation and that any reports about what they're doing are simply sensationalized. Keith Alexander, the head of the NSA, said that not only was their no mission noble, but that reports about what they're doing have been sensationalized. Well, there is absolutely nothing about a secret shadow government that is breaking the law. He's lied to Congress. He and James Clapper have lied to Congress about what they're doing. They're breaking the law. They're simply criminals who don't think they're subject to the law. And we've seen how the NSA is using PRISM in conjunction with large internet companies 
But you're not even safe if you stay away from the internet. We now learn that there are backdoors even in your computer processor. Take a look at this clip from Intel talking about their new generation of processors. Unlike software-only solutions that require PCs to be powered on and software agents running on a fully functional OS, a hardware-assisted approach enables PCs to be managed regardless of system state and without requiring software agents. The result? IT or IT service providers can diagnose and fix problems without a desk side visit, schedule PCs to power down at night to cut energy costs, and still have the ability to power them up for off-hours patching. So Intel reported about that, but it went, again, largely unnoticed. But in this article we have today on InfoWars, secret 3G Intel chip gives Snoop's backdoor PC access. It points out that the Intel Core vPro processors contain a secret 3G wireless chip that allows remote disabling and backdoor access to any computer, even if it's turned off. And that's because it uses the system's phantom power. So it can individually turn on hardware components and it can access anything on your computer and it allows third parties to do this. And that video that you just saw, Intel is bragging about how it can be used for system management and of course like any technology, it can be used for good purposes or for bad purposes, but we've already seen how the NSA uses all the technology that it gets for evil purposes for spying on people. It points out that the webcams can also be remotely accessed. So any third party, and you can bet that an interested third party is going to be the NSA. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse but demand a war. Right oh, there's another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind the movie at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.